And welcome to In Game Chat for Saturday, August 19th, 2017. This is Season 11, Episode 32. I'm Scott. I'm RJ. And I'm Matt. And welcome to the show. If you'd like to get in touch with us, our phone number is 334-272-9228. Check out ingamechat.net for all the links to get in touch with us. Ingamechat.net. Go over there. You'll find all the links right there on our website. So you can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Twitter. Uh, you can find us on... Where else are we? Well, we're on Twitch, which right now... We're on YouTube. Tinder. I think I think we have... Are we on Tinder? Are we on Tinder? We could be on Tinder. Uh, we're on Tinder and OkCupid and Bumble and uh, we're on... Never even heard of Bumble. My Fitness Pal and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> find us at all those social locations. Uh, yeah, anyway, we're, we're all over the place. And you can find it all there at our website, ingamechat.net. Email us everyone. We're on the Google. Email us everyone at ingamechat.net. We've got a G Plus account. I don't know what anybody the, has ever done with those, but we have just one. Just in general. No one's done anything. I think you have to have one when you get a YouTube account. I think, yeah, just any kind of alphabet account gives you a G Plus. Yeah. Are we on MSN Messenger? <laughs> Or I, was it ICQ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can be on ICQ. Um, I think we actually do have a channel on uh, Discord. Okay. Sort yes, of. we do. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we do. Anyway, if it's on the internet and you can join it, we're probably there. I probably shouldn't say that as broad of a stroke as that paints. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I take, th- I take that back. Anyway, uh, we are streaming right now on Twitch. Through uh, through the cam, so go to twitch.tv, and if, if nobody's familiar with what Twitch is, it is a place where gamers go to stream video games. Well, not just gamers. Well, it's not just gamers. They also do talk shows like this, as long as you're talking about video games. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's not necessarily just video games. They have a poker channel there, which I'm, I don't actually watch a lot of it, <laughs> but I'm glad that it's there, just yeah. because I do actually enjoy watching poker as much as I love playing poker. Bob Ross, too. Remember that? Well, they did a they did a they did a Bob Ross telethon or not mm-hmm. telethon marathon. Yeah, and I would totally call into that. It was raising money for charity, though. I think they were I raising money for charity during that. And then they did one with Power Rangers. But I mean, like I binge watch Bob Ross on Netflix. I, I'll yeah, that's that is my uh, go to chill. That's my non medicinal Nyquil. Yes. Yeah, that's my. Uh, you hear the brush right strokes out. and you're gone. That's it. Done. <laughs> Um, and then they did uh, they did Power Rangers the whole thing to promote the film. Then they did a fantastic one that I loved. They did uh, Mister Rogers' Neighborhood, all of the episodes of Mister Rogers' Neighborhood. Oh wow! Mm. Um, Starting with the black and white. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Starting way, but the very first one all the way to the end. I think it was like eight hundred some odd episodes. It's fantastic, and uh, they also raised money uh, for a great cause during that as well. What's the next thing that they're doing? I thought I read about it. Uh, it's been a while. I think it was some kind of anime that they were going to do. But I can't remember what it was or what it might be. So I haven't heard anything. I'm not sure. Anyway, yes, we're on Twitch. Go to twitch.tv, and there's a search bar at the top. Type in in-game chats, and then you'll be able to find us, and you can watch the show live while we broadcast. You can actually join in the chat room with people who are in uh, the chat room right now, actually. Who do we have in the chat room so far? Probably not many because we just started, but I'll do a rundown. What do I care? Oh, currently unavailable. Please try again later. Is that a new user? What? Is that a new user? I don't remember. That. I don't know who that is. Yeah, that's a strange uh, username that they have. Oh, wait, there we go. AC Wraith, uh, Braid, 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 Braid Do, 21, uh, Illuminator, Multile, SCM Fuller. Uh, of course, Medusa's Mirror is in there as well, yep. uh, hanging out. So thanks, everybody. And uh, that as that list grows... I will do another roll call for you. Anyway, welcome back to the show. We had a great episode last week, and that episode will replay coming up uh, Labor Day weekend uh, while I'm in Seattle. Are you guys going out of town? you guys doing anything for Labor Day weekend? I might be. You doing the Dragon Con? or Maybe. maybe. I don't know. Probably. If I do, just one day. Not to, not to, you know. Although I need to get a Hawaiian shirt. Okay. So I can do, if I do go to Dragon Con. Yeah, I want to want to get a Hawaiian shirt for it. Okay, uh, they announced. Remember when I went off and they said, "Hey, John Cusack's going to be a Dragon God," and it was just like, "Why?" Yeah, 
There's another dude who's going to be Zachary Levi, I think, or something. I don't know. It's an actor that I have. The n- name sounds familiar. That's a dude I'm from. Uh, was it Chuck? Yeah. Is that who it is? Yeah. yeah. No, that works then. Uh, I can understand that more than John John Cusack. Cusack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that works then. I I saw the. F- it didn't look like that guy though. I mean, I may be wrong. I, think, I, I, I don't I remember. Zachary I'd Levi have to. I'd have to, I'd have to go look. I don't really want to go look, but I'll go look. I'll anyway. do it. No, I'm doing it now. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm not Dragon Cron. Dragon Con. <laughs> Dragon Cron. No, go ahead. What were you saying, Matt? Uh, I mean, like, yeah, I just don't understand John Cusack. I mean, like, yeah, that's cool. Uh, I mean, he seems like a really cool dude. And hey, Has he uh, done some sci-fi before? I'm pretty sure he's had. He's had a pretty long career. Adventures of Nanny Gan? I, I don't know. I can't think of no. really. IMDb. Yeah, I can't. I mean, uh, he was one of the nerds in uh, what was it Sixteen Candles? Eh, I'm stretching. I don't know. Nah, that's fine. It's got a lot. God, they've got a lot. Yeah, Zachary Levi. That was who it was. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, see that? I could see Chuck was you know what it was. Yeah, Charles Martinet's gonna be there. Of course he is. Who's that? Voice of Mario. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. it's a him. It's a him exactly. There's a lot of people that are going to be there. Yeah, I, I think Dragon Con does that. They always have this like list of all these people, and then like you know, a lot of them just you know, oh well, they canceled. I'm like, did they cancel or did you just put their name out and then they you know, knowing that they wouldn't be there? Oh man, Don Rose is going to be there again. Who's that? The remember when last year we came back and Sarah brought me back that autographed uh, yeah. Scrooge McDuck. Thing. I'll grab it here in a second. I'm gonna put it on. Hold. Oh, I put them on the air. I put them on hold. <laughs> We're just playing with your emotions. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. He, dr- it, it was all. It was yeah. the whatever. It was all the Scrooge McDucks. Yes. Um, in in various times. I do want to ask you about last week's episode. The first. Episode. I mean, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. I loved it. Fantastic. I can't wait. It was wonderful. So. I'm I'm glad I'm going to be in Seattle. I'm not going to be here. Yeah. Um, and so we're going to rerun that episode that we did last week with all the songs and everything like that. And I took I didn't 19 tracks. I only was able to not play three mm-hmm. due to time. Um, I mean, well, you missed out on. Uh, I missed out on one of mine. One of mine. One of yours. I think the Final Fantasy. Fan- one. Final Fantasy. Which I really love that song. Well, I can I, you know I can I can put that back in here. I put in the outlaws because I know that you. Yes, I love yeah. the outlaws. But I mean, like, yeah. That, that so you went back and listened to the show? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> How did you know I left some of those out? Sarah told me. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> um, well, because you've been requesting outlaws for so very long, that's why yeah, I yeah. kept it into today's rotation of music. I mean, when we get it, to it really does like a, did you say did you like talk about like why I like it? No. I read your whole thing. Okay, yeah. I read it, everything it really that you said about it. What Morricone, you know, it captures that feel so well. Yeah. I uh I I read everything you wrote about any if, if for whoever sent us stuff in, I read about why they and that was what I really wanted was I, I need to know I just don't need to know that this is your favorite track. Yeah, you know, I like the song. Well, why? why? Yeah. You know why? What it does for you. Um, cause I love what video game music does for me and I want to know yeah. what it does for you. So especially certain tracks, you really should go back though. You yeah. should, because I will go back and listen. To yeah, it. you should. Um, and of course it's coming up on the weekend that we're gone, but there was a track that, uh, I started off and you have to go listen. It's towards the end, but I said something about the fact that the, uh, the music, when I listen to it now, and it's been a few decades mm-hmm. since I had, since I had listened to it. But I was listening to it now, and it sounds so much not like what it was for. It sounds like a horror, suspenseful '80s thing. Okay, um, and it's it's just got this whole like. Which song was it? it? It was from Donkey Kong Country. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. I I listened to that soundtrack over and over when yeah. I was a kid when that thing first came out. And I listened to that sound. I loved that soundtrack, and never once did I have any feelings of tension or suspense or murder. Or anything else that is conveyed in that track when I listen to it now. Listening to it now after like Stranger Things and a couple of other mm-hmm. things, it took on a different tone. So we played it, and and Sarah agreed with me at least. So uh, that it did have a completely uh, for tone. If you don't think about what it's attached to, you just hear it for the could, music. It is you could either, you could put it to something completely backwards from what it was meant for. Gotcha. So. 
give it a shot and uh, and check that out. It's from Donkey Kong. Yeah, see, Medusa Mirror. That song was creepy. <laughs> yes, it was. So, uh, where did all my stuff go? I don't know. I had. Oh, I didn't. Never mind. There we go. Everything's back. You didn't clap either. Oh yeah. So got that figured out. Thank you yeah. for reminding me about the clap. That comes. <laughs> It comes like 15 <laughs> minutes into the show. I have to clap. For those of you listening for the first time I have to, and, or just paying attention for the first time, I have to clap in order to sync up the audio and the video that we take for when we upload this to YouTube because for whatever reason, it is out of sync completely. So I have to sync it up. And uh, doing a clapping noise uh, helps me to do that. Let's go to the phones because somebody is there. I don't know who, but uh, we're going to take the phone right now. You're on in-game chat. Who's this? Billy, I just uh, had a quick question for y'all. I just want to put a face with a with the name. Is John Cusack? Is that the one that did the eight heads in the duffel bag or whatever? Was that eight heads in the duffel bag? Was that? Him? I believe I it was. Say, I thought it was Joe Pesci. Was it Joe Pesci? Joe Pesci. I think you're. I think you're right. I think. Joe I know Pesci. Uh, John Cusack. Of, you know, one of his most famous ones is Lloyd Dobler from Say Anything. You know, the guy standing outside with the boom box over his head, you know, in the trench yeah, coat. Yeah, that's John Cusack. I think, I, but I think he did have a role where he plays an assassin, though. Uh, that was uh, uh, Gross Point Blank. Yeah, Gross that's Point it, Blank. Gross Point Blank, yeah, that, that was it. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay, same guy there. That's all I needed to know. Thank you all. All right, man. You have a good one now. No problem. Bye. I'm sorry he waited on hold for that little quick question. That yeah. was Joe Pesci and David Spade. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Now I remember why I haven't seen it. Um... No, I actually like both of those people. Uh, more Joe Pesci than the other. So anyway, what have you guys... Uh, I mean, it's only been a week, but I say it's been a week. It's been two weeks for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, we'll start with RJ. What have you played? Mostly Street Fighter Five. I was praying for uh, tournaments and whatnot at yeah. the, uh, at the uh, Gump Con and most recently at GT South this past, uh, this past Friday. Yeah. I was trying to work on that, so I haven't been playing much of a... Uh, much of anything else, but I did pick up um, Sonic Mania, the uh, collector's edition. So hey, I picked, picked that up, up too. Collector's edition as well? Of course, yeah. Good. I pre-ordered it a long time ago mm -hmm. on Amazon, of course, because I was afraid it might sell out, and I really liked the little Sonic sitting on top of the Genesis. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, I was just like, that's a really cool thing, and I don't want to miss out on having that. So I love pre-ordering through Amazon because they don't charge me until they ship until it. Until it ships, yeah. And... Uh, were you intimidated by the size of that box that came in? No, I watched an unboxing beforehand. Oh, okay. Uh, IGN did an unboxing for it, and, and uh, the, the thread in NeoGAF had already mentioned, like, this thing's rather big. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they, they, I watched the unboxing, so I knew what I was going oh, okay. to get. Right. My problem is, and you did it for PS4, right? Yeah. PS4. It's available for PS4, Xbox One, and the Switch, also on PC. However, the PC version got delayed. Yeah, two weeks. I still got my box. Still got it. Yeah. I just can't play the game. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Like, they sent me the code and everything, and I can put the code into Steam, and it's like, okay, you own this. You can't play it yet, but you own yeah. it. Yeah. So, whenever it's unlocked. Like when you pre-order something on Steam. Yeah. It's, like, it's like when I picked up uh, Bayonetta. Just stares at you. It's like when I picked up Bay Bayonetta and Vanquish. Uh, my computer's not built yet, but it's on my account, so yeah. it's ready. It'll yeah. But it'll be there. Yeah, so but you can good. you can play those. People who who bought those can play those right now. I bought mine. and I my system. And I have it, and I can't play it yet, and that annoys me because I know you have, and I really want to talk about it and play mm -hmm. it, but I, I can't, I can't, I can't do that. I, it comes out on the 29th now. Yeah, two weeks from the. Yeah, yeah well, my flight 29th. leaves on the 30th. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that means you should buy it on the uh, <laughs> Switch and take it with you. You know what else happens on the 29th? Destiny PC beta. Yeah. Flight leaves on the 30th. Yeah. Yeah. You know what else comes out on the 29th? Mario Rabbids thing for Switch, which I'm actually excited about because it's very XCOM y. Mm hmm. Commie, ex commish And you leave on the 30th? Yeah. And I leave on the third and fly out on the 30th. Yeah, this is all just shaping up to be a wonderful. It'll be here when you get back. It will, I know. And, and you're going to see people playing it there. And it's not like we're doing a show that Saturday, yeah. so I'm not going to miss out on like talking about the stuff that comes out, but still. So it just annoys me. So okay. it was like Sonic Mania, just like a Sonic Grace Hits or something? No, not really. Go ahead and tell them. Uh, well, I played it, but uh, basically it's a compilation of uh, some of the best. Uh, Stages from the Sonic series done in the in the traditional uh, 2D style, 2D classic st Sonic style, and it's new stuff too. It's yeah. the, there were these uh, two guys yeah. who were who were they did fan mods and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And Sega hired them, huh. said make a make a Sonic game for us, and so they did. Yeah, make a Sonic game where he doesn't like you know romance a lady. 
No, it's nothing. It is uh-huh. all completely from way back in you know the 16-bit days. So Sonic, it actually Sonic might be good. Format, yeah. Uh, pick between Sonic, Tails, and uh, Sonic. You can play Sonic, Tails, or Knuckles solo, or Sonic and Tails uh, partnered together. Okay. You can do that way. Uh, I think it's stages from uh, Sonic, Sonic 2, Sonic 3. They took stages from Sonic CD as They've well. They've also done some new stuff, yeah, too. They got they some new, new stages, stages in there. How much uh, was it? It's 20 bucks. It's 20 bucks. That's not bad. Now, if you get the collector's what? edition, it's like 40? 60? Uh, no, 60. 40. 40. Right? The collector's edition and the... Oh, oh let me, just hmm. remind me of no, something else. That, collector's higher edition. Higher than that. Let me but, hit uh, the Amazons. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, they got some new stages in there. Uh, Studiopolis Zone, um, Mirage Saloon, that's brand new. Some other stages, some other stages I haven't heard about, but uh, yeah, it's a compilation of uh, old and new. Oh, hey, that's but more expensive than I thought. It's about seventy bucks. Yeah, <laughs> it's about seventy bucks for collector's edition. Yeah, that big statue. Yeah, not forty. <laughs> what did I pay? What did I? Oh, maybe. I... Did you have some credit on there or something? I don't know. I I remember getting the thing, and it's like, hey, here's what you saved by doing our with our pre-order promise. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to see yeah. what that was. Um, also, the uh, soundtrack composed yeah. by uh, T. Lopes, who's done a lot of remixes of uh, of Sonic uh, Sonic's team Sonic Team's music. And uh, from what I've been talking to other folks about, the soundtrack is pretty uh, pretty good, really good, All right. amazing. Wow, actually. I got mine for forty four dollars. That's a pretty cool. good price. It pays when you place an order almost a year. I <laughs> I put that order in <laughs> September thirteenth of last year. Mm. Wow. 44 bucks for something that's now $70. That's amazing. And people say you shouldn't pre-order games. Ah, look at that. <laughs> games are collector's editions. Well, I'm, I'm just, I'm being facetious on that. It's just, uh, people say you shouldn't pre-order games because, and whatever. Yeah. And I have a thing where it's like, if it's a collector's edition, I'm going to pre-order it because I don't want them to run out if I want that collector's edition myself. And honestly, you shouldn't care what I do with my own money because I don't care what you do with your own money, so shut up anyway. But... <laughs> Real quick, speaking of uh, pre-order and uh, collector's editions, I saw the price for Far Cry Five, uh, collector's edition pre-order. What comes with that? Uh, I think Land Deed in Montana. I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, it looks like it comes with like uh, like an antler, like like a I guess like a deer skull. Or really? Something. Some weird. It's like 175 bucks. That's a lot. It is a lot. Like because I, th- uh, I was like, oh okay, Far Cry Five. What's gonna, gonna be on the and all I saw was, like, the price tag, and I'm like, nope, let's close that out right there. Well, going back to Sonic, the yes. Sonic Mania is the highest-rated new Sonic game in 15 years. Well, that's not saying much when, you know, the other ones are so terrible. That's like, you know, saying Wonder Woman is a great DC movie. Well, yeah, when everything else is terrible, then, you know, it's hard not to be good. Yeah, but it's been fi- it's 15 years, man. It's been a and lot of bad games. And we've gone Sonic. through the Sonic cycle of Sonic game gets denounced and people get... Like, okay, maybe they fixed it. Sonic trailer gets shown. It looks like they fixed it. Sonic gets released. They didn't fix it, mm-hmm. you know? And then the cycle just starts over again with every single game that they've done. Yep. And we ran through the cycle on this one until they released it, and they said, hey, they fixed it. So, you know, and it's, you know, they've got the Sonic Team. See, Sonic Team didn't even work on this. The, the, no. the Sonic Team who does this, they didn't touch this. Which, maybe that's why it's good. How do you think that team has to feel when yeah. two modders come in and make the highest rated Sonic game in the past 15 years that they've been working on. Yep. Makes me wonder if that'll change any kind of direction for uh, Sonic Forces? Is that what's... Sonic Forces. Is, is that the one that's out, yeah. due out? Yeah. Um, the Sonic Team version of a, a new Sonic game that's due out? Yeah. I guess sometime in the fall. I don't know when it's due, but yeah. So... Uh, so you haven't played that though, right? No, I got it. I just haven't played. Like I said, I've been playing Street Fighter Five to play prep for tournaments more than yeah. Else. So yeah. How'd you do in the tournaments? Uh, not not too well. I need to do some uh, match knowledge really more than anything else. Yeah. It's basically experience when it, what it boils down to. Um, Street Fighter Five is something that um, I just haven't had the zest to play like I did four or any of the other Street Fighters in the series. Um, just not just not a lot of interest. Uh, from my end, I can watch it like like you do with uh, mm-hmm. Evo when it's on thing. I can watch it a little bit, but playing it feels more like a chore than actual fun. But um, that should be the case for anything. Yeah, I feel but, that way about work. But you know, playing with friends more than anything else is, um, I guess, where I have the most fun with it. But lately, I haven't. Mm. That's sad to hear. Uh, 
what did I play? Did I play? I, I we didn't talk about what we played last week because we were just it was nothing but music. And uh, I jumped back into Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and mainly did that to check the stream on my PS4. Right. To be able to stream games, we had had a thing with Twitch and my, and my PS4 machine and it, it not working and stuff. And we finally got that all figured out. We've got it all squared away, um, and now it works, and I can stream on Twitch again. Now we got to figure out if all of you guys can stream on Twitch again through the uh, in-game chat channel. Through the in-game chat channel, yeah. Okay. You may have to do. I may have to do the same thing. I may have to. Um, I may have to do for you what I did for me in order mm-hmm. to get you to get signed on. But I'm, I'm curious about Matt since he's still logged in. Or still would have it logged in on his system if he would try and uh, stream some. Okay. So. On the PC or the PlayStation? On the PS4. Okay. Strictly the PS4 is what we're trying to get at. Every time I would try to stream from Twitch, it said, hey, go uh, authenticate your thing. And I would try to authenticate it. And it says, you've already authenticated. And it wouldn't let me go further Mm -hmm. uh, to let me stream uh, on Twitch. So I did a little thing and... Got it fixed, so I can do that now, and I want to see if you're still able to, or if you've got a... That's going to be annoying if, if we can't. Yeah. So, that will be annoying. Uh, so, I played Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I did that World War One. Was it one or two? One. It's one. I did that World War One mission, um, and so I'm in that sort of time rift right now. I'm still in there. I completed the one mission that you have to do in there. It's very quick. I just got to segment seven. Or whatever. Has the rift o- rift shown up on your map yet? Mm, I, like I said, I just started that and then okay. turned it off. Yeah. Check and see if the rift shows up. It does not highlight for you. There's no cutscene that says, hey, here's a little thing on the map now. It's just a little icon? Nope. It's, not, it's nothing that uh, gives your attention. It's just you have to look at the map, and then it's like, what is this thing over here? And then you can go to it and, and, and activate it. Uh, so I'm still in that little time rift playing in uh, World War One era London. And Can you get to it from segment seven? It. How many segments are there? Nine or eight? I think eight. Yeah, you should be. I okay. still have. I still have segment seven and eight to complete. Okay. I think maybe six, seven, and eight. But uh, yeah, you. Sh- it should be there for you. I have to look. Where on the map is it? On the very far right. Far right. Okay. Yes. In the middle of the Thames. In the middle of the Thames. Yes. Okay, I'll look for it when next time. I come. Far right, middle of the Thames. There's the rift. I mean, you will not miss it on the map, trust me. Okay. Um, you won't. So yeah. that's where I'm at right now. I finished the one mission there. There's a lot of collectibles in that area that yeah. I am sort of... I am now... I was like a juggernaut with connect, with collectibles. I was like, you gotta now get I just want to finish the game. Yes. It was an OCD type thing. I have to collect every single one of these things. Otherwise, it's going to drive me nuts. I'm at this that. point, I'm sort of thinking, you know, I just kind of want to put you to bed. You yep. know, yeah. I just want to finish you up. That's all. I, I don't care, but your your collectibles are honestly doing nothing for me. Both characters have leveled to complete maximum. Same here. I have no... I have the gear I want. Mm-hmm. I do, too, and there's really nothing else. Um, and I just don't think it's driving me anymore no. to, to do that. So I think I'm just going to finish it up. I feel exactly the same way. Yeah. You'd like that for Batman, wouldn't you? Uh, no, Batman, I was very methodical with Batman. Okay, I mean, the... Um what was the last one? Um, uh, Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Riddler's trophies. No, I did them. Oh, you did them all? Oh, I did every single one of them. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. I was, meth- I was methodical with those. Okay. The thing is, in comparison, uh, Assassin's Creed, Batman, the, the collectibles are, the comparison there is apples and oranges, man. Mm-hmm. Batman's got some. Uh, Assassin's Creed has many. Like, between uh, the many flowers, times over. The, the flowers, fri- the figments, you know, the, I mean, the fragments, the, the flowers, the fragments, uh, music. The, well, I don't think they do music. No, they don't do music in this one. In Syndicate, yeah. Oh, the, you're talking about the. Um, I'm pretty sure they do music. You're talking about the things where you hear the little music box play yeah. that has the. Yeah, that's not the that's not the music notes like it was with uh, Assassin's Creed Four. No, where you had to chase them. Ch- no, no, not like that. But you yeah. know, they, they had the beer. Yep, you have to collect beer. <laughs> I know, uh, beer. Which I do. And flowers and there's just a lot. There's yeah. a ton. Mm-hmm. There's a ton. There's an annoying amount, honestly. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's that's the difference. Batman, there was uh, there was a bit, you know. Yeah. But uh, and I've I've done that on all the Batman games: Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight. Mm-hmm. Arkham Origins as well did the same thing. Yeah. 
where I 100% of both of those. In the case of Arkham Knight, I did the second one and did the whatever it was, the 200% thing where you do where you have to do it twice. Um, I don't know why they want you to do it twice, but you have to do it twice. So got that done too. Uh, we're going to take our first break. When we come back, we'll talk to Matt, find out what he played as well. We've got music, and speaking of, we're going right into Sonic here. Uh, so it's a new week. We have brand new music for new games that come out this week. We're also grabbing some tracks that we didn't or did use from last week's episode as well. Uh, this first one, though, comes from Sonic Mania. It's uh, appropriately enough. It is the title screen music. We will be back right back with more of In Game Chat right after this. Welcome back to In Game Chats. I'm Scott, along with RJ and Matt. Music here from Agents of Mayhem. Uh, that game released this week or last week? I can't remember. Sure. Yeah, I don't remember. I'm thinking this week. It didn't do too well as far as the yeah the reviews weren't too great with it. I hear a lot of uh, I see a lot of folks like uh, not Saints Row. That's the biggest uh, complaint I'm hearing about it. Which is fine, you know, yeah. if they're going to make another Saints Row, call it Saints Row. Yeah. So I'm okay with it being not Saints Row. Yeah. Because if this was called Saints Row, then people would really be mad. Yeah. If it's not Saints Row. Speaking of, how did Get Out of Hell do? I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, Just don't hear many people talking about that one. I feel like they may have peaked with Saints Row 3. Yeah. And then, or was it 4? No, it was 3. 3. I think they may have peaked with Saints Row 3. But then Saints Row 4, I don't know. I didn't play it. That's the super, that's the, uh, you got the superpowers? No, that's 4. Yeah, 4. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Saints Row 3 was just shy of having superpowers. Might as well. And then Saints Row 4, they just went all out and did their thing. Which I think is great. And I think that's really what Saints Row is, or at least... What the necessary evolution of it? What it became? Because um, I remember the first one was actually, you know, somewhat trying to be somewhat of a. Hmm. The first GTA one was clone? taking itself very seriously as being a GTA clone, and then yeah. the second one said, "Look, we're gonna we, we well, can't obviously be GTA, so let's just yeah. take the fun yeah. stuff from GTA and 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 not take ourselves seriously." And yeah. they didn't. And then they just kept going with that. They just said, "Let's take ourselves even less seriously for three, where you can fly a jet that also hovers." Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's that was take it. Kind of fun. Yeah, I know. Let's take it even more, uh, you know, completely insane with Saints Row 4 and give you guys superpowers. And um, aliens. And aliens and everything else. And that, again, completely fine. I don't know where they'd follow up with 5. I mean, where yeah. did they go from there? Looking at the scores now for um, Get Out of Hell, it was like, uh, Destructor was like 8 out of 10, Eurogamer 6 out of 10, Game Informer 7.5 out of 10, uh, seven, about average, seven, so seven, five, seven, eight. Average that positive. Area. Yeah. And that's fine. Uh, that's uh, that's for Get Out of Hell. Ages of Mayhem, the reviews were all over the place. I noticed in particular where I was probably going to play it was PC, uh, to Lethal Migraine, who's in the chat room, to his dismay, uh, where he says consoles you know, are for gaming and PC are not for yeah. gaming. 
But uh, I was going to play it on PC, <laughs> and the PC got just... Yes, oh. Our Steam library, all to the contrary. <laughs> well, the, the, the PC version of Agents of Mayhem was a buggy mess. Yeah. And they were having tons of problems with it. So that's what I had heard on the game. I was actually really looking forward to it, only for the fact that it felt like it was flying under the radar, and this might be something really cool to look out for. Uh, I enjoyed the trailers that they issued, one that was based on like a Knight Rider theme and one that was based on a Magnum PI theme, and, and I thought, okay, they might be hitting on something here, and they still may very well be, I just don't know if they're doing it at $60, at yeah. the price point of 60 bucks. That's a little high. Yeah. I don't know. A lot, so. of, folks, a lot of folks are saying that, too. They wouldn't want to pay uh, full price for this, right? not right now, anyway. Yeah. So, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, Lethal Minger says that was my favorite part of Saints Row 4 was that you didn't have to use cars other than a couple of missions. I agree with you, man. I played I played a little bit of that at either an E3 or a PAX, I can't remember. And they had they had bumped your, your powers up to... Once you got the super run and the fly... Yeah, and, and you the, could just... Yeah, there's no point in... You're, why slow down in a car? Yeah, it was, fan, it was fantastic. So, I was looking at Agents of Mayhem being a more... Let's put... Let's, let's, if Saints Row and Crackdown had a baby, it would be Agents of Mayhem. I heard with what I was Overwatch, maybe. I yeah. haven't played Overwatch. Ish. I think that's kind of what they were. Yeah, I haven't yeah, played uh, that. The way, I, the way I thought about it was uh, it's Overwatch without the co-op element. Yeah. And I didn't think it was going to last long having that 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 uh, that, uh, that um, set up. Yeah. Well, Matt, what did you play? Uh, we didn't get to you in the last segment, but what did like, you play? Like uh, we talked about earlier, uh, today um, loaded back up uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Just want to get that out of the way. Um, you played Batman this morning. I was. I uh, the Telltale series. Yeah, the Telltale. I uh, uh, the new s- season two. No, the first one. Okay. I never played the first one. I haven't either. So I have it on my Xbox One, but I haven't played it. Yeah, so I started that. Um, I forgot that. You know, it's been a while since I played a Telltale game, and I forgot that it's just basically a QTE simulator. So, that was you know like all right, trying to get back into that. You know, like oh yeah, quick time events everywhere. Um, now, does I was I'm curious. I haven't played this again. I own the game. I have not played it. But do they delve more into the detective stance or detective? I haven't gotten uh, aspect of of Batman than they do anything else. I haven't gotten. How that far? Where are you at? In the beginning. You haven't even finished episode one. No, not yet. Oh, okay, never mind. No. no, never mind. Although I did go to a party. Oh uh, yeah. For Harvey Dent. Yeah, Bruce Wayne. Yeah, that's what you do. Exactly. What's what else have you been playing? Um, Diablo three. Uh, just, you know, I finally decided, you know what? <laughs> I, for the first time in a long time, and I'm sorry I keep interrupting That's you fine. on this, but you reminded me that just a couple of weeks ago, probably before last week's episode, I updated my Battle.net account mm-hmm. and was going for through. For Destiny? Uh, yeah. And so I had still had uh, Warcraft installed, or not Warcraft, um, Diablo installed. Yeah. And so it just downloaded so many updates. Yeah, you know, it finally finished, and then I right clicked and I said erase because <laughs> I haven't played it in forever, and I'm not going to. So just get it out of there. I wanted, um, I got the uh, Necromancer, okay. so I wanted to go through, yeah, and play play as that because uh, Necromancer was my favorite in two. So you know, going through, you know, started that again, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is this is fun. Um, and that, uh, what I've been doing, um, uh, Ghost Recon with Kevin. Okay. Uh, any battlegrounds? Uh, we're gonna try and get on that tonight. Okay. So hopefully, because they just did a uh, massive patch. Yeah. Um, so hopefully that fixes uh, a lot of stuff. What did they? Something happened with them this week. What is it that I did that I wrote was down it the here? Zombies? No, 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 no. It was. Um, let's see. They did the. Let's see. This was back in the 16th. Well, it wasn't too far too long ago. Um, they beat League of Legends Twitch numbers. Okay. People spent more hours watching Player Unknown's Battlegrounds on Twitch last week than they'd had League of Legends. That's pretty big. That's that's a big feat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's uh, that's pretty amazing. League of Legends had 15 million, and Battlegrounds had 16.9. Wow. However, <laughs> number one was Dota, uh, Dota Two, yeah. actually. Because they were doing the international okay. uh, that weekend. And that had 30.6 million wow. people watching. Yeah, That's a lot. That's where they also announced their new game, Valve, the artifact. Okay. Did you watch that video I posted in our chat room? I did not. You really should have. Okay. Oh, man, you really. Maybe uh, I, if it's go, not Half-Life, 
three, which no, it's never no, no. going to be. It's not even that, dude. It's not even that. Were it, people upset with that one? Yes, and you could I hear mean, it in the crowd reaction. Yeah, it was funny as hell. That bottom line about uh, card game oh. or something. That that uh, when that showed up, people were just like, Ugh. yeah. I'm trying to find it, and so I can I can uh, play it again. What was the general response? All this wait for a card game. Yeah, let me see if I've got it. Let me see if I can pull it up on this uh, computer here. Okay. Go to YouTube. Anyway, yeah, so they announced it, and um, the audience reaction was, uh, you know, they were all kind of anticipating, and it was going through the trailer, and it was doing its thing, and then, uh, there it is, crowd reaction. The thing is 13 seconds long. I don't know if it's going to play or not on this uh, machine here, but we'll see. Alright. Card game. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't jovial uh no, that wasn't a that jovial was, yay, thing. That was, uh. Card game comes up on screen. I have to be careful because I don't know if somebody holding the camera like, says it's a mm, card game. Wasn't it didn't it say the Dota came up first? And then that's when the cheers came up and then say card game and they were just Well they were watching it at the International. Okay. Yeah. And so Valve said, you know, the, the whole trailer t- is like coming soon and it's doing this whatever, this sweeping thing over the logo and all this other stuff, and then finally, boom, comes up, says the artifact for a title, and everyone's like, What what what's this? Oh. And then boom, Dota two card game underneath. Everybody says, Ah oh. you know, just yeah. the wind completely let out. And I thought it was I thought it was great. It's exactly the reaction I would have had, except they I wouldn't be at a Dota 2 no. event. Mm. Although hearing that many people be crestfallen all at once is actually kind of fun. Well, think about it. They're there for Dota 2, and then yeah. you announce a Dota 2 card game, and they're not happy Excited. about it. Yeah, that should tell you, like, oh, wait, I thought they'd... I should totally tell you that you yeah, have gone I thought we would have gotten, like, direction. a clap or something? Nothing. No. Uh, yeah, it was, not, it was not good for them. No. no. Card games are not on their minds. They're not on my it. minds either, I, no. and, and not necessarily. I don't think any a lot of people. What was, that, what was that one? Hearthstone, I think. Yeah. Hearthstone, yeah, yeah. Hearthstone, I wanted yeah. to. Uh, I tried to get into that, and I've. I think I've tried to get into it about three times now, and I still go through the tutorial, and I think, okay, I think I've got a grasp on this, and then I'm like, uh, and then I don't keep up with it. I yeah, not in, realize you, it's just not my jams. Yeah, if it's not in, if you're not into it, you're not into it. I mean, yeah. like. Me with JRPGs. Yeah. I tried it. I gave it a shot. I gave it an honest shot. It just wasn't for me. It's like Didn't me with it. guacamole. I want to give Magic a shot only for the fact that people have been uh-huh. playing Magic forever. Yeah, I used to play that back in college. Exactly, right? Forever ago. So it seems like that's something that I could probably do. Mm-hmm. Or at least see if I like it. But Go to Visions. You know, the last time I did any kind of card collecting were Garbage Pail Kids. Oh, jeez. Um, well, not even those. It was probably Marvel. I still remember those. Marvel d- used to do cards as well. Yeah, I had a set. Yeah, they they did series one and series two of Marvel cards, and uh, you could get the ones that were gold foil or stamped, and all these. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. great. And I, man, I used to pull out those three ring binders full of uh, those plastic yep. sheets where the cards are in there, plastic and GC flip cards. through them. Man, I, I used to got do all the uh, Star Wars CCG. And this wasn't card games. This was not a card game. It was just it was just cards. Yeah. I got it. Um, it like, was base, just, like baseball cards. Yeah, it was just collecting collection. cards. Yeah. That's it. Like garbage pill kids. You yeah. didn't you didn't play as a game on these things. You just collected them. Yeah. Um, you slapped stickers you, too. Yes. Yes, there yeah, was. There were stickers and really disgusting gum. Um, oh, yeah. That surplus old hard yeah. as hard as tank armor gum. Heck yeah. yeah. But you uh, you slap a number on something and you say it's number one of ever how many and you're gonna scratch an itch for me. Yeah. And I'm going to be like, well, I don't know, I need number five, six, and seven through whatever is in the series. Yeah, sports cards were like that as well. I remember... Um, I never did the sports cards. Yeah, I mean, getting the occasional card where it says uh, number, like number 1450 out of 2000 or something like that. You know, getting that rare collectible and mm-hmm. you get another pack to see if you can get an element or jersey cards from uh, basketball or football um, sets of uh, cards, things like that. Never did those kind of cards. Yeah. No. Never did those. Let's go to the phones real quick and talk to, I don't know who this is, but you're on in-game chat. Who's this? This is Chris. Hey, Chris. How you doing, man? Not much. How y'all doing? Yeah, you know. Reminiscent of old cards. I used games, to have uh, the Gulf War cards from the first Gulf War. Oh, man. I they used to do cards for everything. I had those. And the original Batman, uh, the 89 Batman The cards. 89 Batman movie? Yeah. Yep, I they had used those, to do movie. Too. 
Why did we collect cards for movies? Because the, they we didn't have the internet back then. To where we could just watch it any time we want to. Yeah. Because, I mean, that was before, because I, I, I collected those before the VHS tape came out. So that was my way of, like, reliving the movie without having to go see it in the theater. And I couldn't watch it on VHS yet because it wasn't released yet. And, yeah. I know. I remember this. I remember. And I, yeah. <sighs> oh, the crap we spent our money on. Uh, yeah, Chris, do. What, what, what crap have you spent your money on lately? <laughs> oh, not much lately, but I remember uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cards. I started collecting those, too, and I think for the first movie and then for the second one, too. Oh, yeah. I didn't collect them for the movies, but I did collect them for the cartoon series. Okay. They had them for the cartoon series, I believe. Yeah, or, I, I it may I have been mixed for the tar- cartoon as well, but I can't remember. It's either one of the movies, or it may have been all three. I can't remember. I, collected, I remember I collected Looney Tunes cards. Mm-hmm. And I need to go and I need to go searching for these are somewhere in my house. I know Shocker. I used to collect Star Wars cards too. Oh really? Yeah. I'd have never thought you for sure. Yeah, Wars. I know. No, yeah. Never yeah, you say you say the crappy. Actually, I, you say, I still do. Now it's just uh, members in the five hundred first legion. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> you say the crap we spend our money on, but how much is that stuff worth now if it's in good condition? Not oh, really please. anything. You really want to know? Let me go. Yeah. Let me let me go check this I out. I still real have quick. all like a complete set of the Gulf War One cards, still in good condition. I don't think it's worth anything. Gulf Speaking War. Of, uh, the cards. Well, the don't limit it cards. What about your toys and other collectibles you ever had? Well, those are not in good condition. Those were was this well the triumphs and horrors of the Gulf War trading cards? Is that what uh, this was? <laughs> That'll sell it. That's, that's not so much. <laughs> My grandma collect, gave those to me. I don't think it'd be a triumph. Tops anymore. Desert Storm. Was, yes, that's the one. Tops Desert, Desert Storm, Storm Coalition Victory Series Gulf War Shield trading cards. Are they blue? Uh no well they got a blue there's it's like blue a blue on rim them. around them no nah, it's blue on the bottom okay and this is but it says <coughs> Desert Storm Victory Series Coalition for Peace that might be uh, that six tight. trading cards and one stick of gum Ugh. uh you can buy I think this is a box of them for six bucks uh, yeah. okay yeah so <laughs> I don't think I need six bucks that bad what's another <laughs> card thing that we did um Garbage Pail Kid. <laughs> Well, they're doing Garbage Pail Kids now. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll do it. Garbage Pail Kids. Let's go to Series 1. Just for... Oh, wow. Like one card is 20 bucks. STM Floor weren't allowed to watch the 89 Batman because it was PG-13. Oh, man. I'm sorry. That was a good movie. Wow. Garbage Pail Kids Series 1. Near complete set. Glossy and matte. Um, $629. Now I really regret sticking those on the, uh, on my, you know, book covers. Garbage Pill Kids Series One, Matt Black's partial set, two hundred twenty-five dollars. Jeez. Garbage Pill, Garbage Pill Kids, nineteen eighty-five, Junk Food John, blank back card, Series One, ninety-nine dollars. Okay. I'm glad I kept those uh, <laughs> for uh, what I had. I've I've, I've got multiples yeah. that I peeled off and used, but uh, yeah, I'm glad I kept most of those or what I could find. Well, the rarity and condition. Thinking about uh, well, which kid didn't put their put those cards in the bike spokes or stick it on something or yeah. do something other than seal it up in something um, to yeah. preserve it. Yeah, I'm trying to find some others. Maybe let's see the Marvel cards. Uh, 1991, 1990. Yeah, that's more like it. Uh, there we go. 1991 Impel Marvel Universe Series Two trading cards complete set, thirty dollars. Hmm. Yeah, th- there's I nothing get that's the feeling like most of them would be worthless today. Yeah, they're not they're not really gaining any, any kind of profit or value here at all. Uh series 2 complete set 29 30 bucks. Yeah. yeah, that's what you're looking at here. So, yeah, not too much. The garbage pill kids though. That was a winner. Mm-hmm. So, hey, what have you been playing, Chris? I'm sorry, I got off on a tangent there. <laughs> been playing more Fallout 4 messing around with that. Mods are normal. Uh, mod. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's my case. It seems to be the only reason I would play Fallout. Is would be the, mods, the, right? Mods, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And, but what's irritating, really, is that uh, there's so many more um, on the PC than the PS4 that, I, that I'll never have access to, can't use. Mm-hmm. Sounds like uh, you know a way to fix that. Not on my system. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to check another card set. <laughs> the Batman 1989 movie cards. Scott's about to tear his house up. Look for these cards now. Ten bucks for the complete limited edition. Never mind. Yep, 1989 Batman movie cards, complete collector's edition, factory boxed. 
Second series, nine ninety five. Boxed. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep. Never mind. Oh man, they're horrible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're ho- I remember the packs. Oh god, the yeah. packs. With uh, with the yellow. Yeah. Well, they're kind of. They had uh, him with his little, you know. Yeah, they're a little like that. So yeah, yeah. Look horrible. There you go. Hard yeah, I remember those. those. Oh, that's yes. bringing back memories. Oh man, nine cards, one sticker, one stick of bubble gum. Oh. They didn't make a collector's card set for the uh, animated series, did they? Yeah, I don't think they did. Probably not. I don't think they did. Hey, Chris, we appreciate you calling, man. All right, y'all have a good one. Take y'all care, later. buddy. Take care. Bye, bye. Uh, Chris sent in one of the songs from last week. Uh, well, which one? V- they, they, Sega Dreamcast or CD? I think. They, they. Vys? No, 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 no. It's like V E Y or V A Y. I can't remember. Now he's he's gonna, making up games. He's going to call back now and tell us what we were talking about. Huh. Um, call shenanigans on that. They, I'm trying. Well, it was a, it was an RPG, probably. Why oh no, it, it was totally an RPG. Come on, it's Chris we're talking about here. Yeah, yeah, it was an RPG. So he sent that. He sent in a bunch actually. Okay, but I I I only picked that one from from the list that he had sent. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we had another listener send in music from Bravely Default. Okay. Which okay. I used as well. That's good. Uh, they, V A Y, yeah, yeah. And this, mm. I, and there here is. it is. This is. Hi, Chris. He read my mind. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah don't feel bad. You're actually mispronouncing it, and I always have called it they as well. But the, uh, the announcer in the open and cinematic actually pronounced it as Vi. So, okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's one of the old. It's, uh, it's on uh, Sega CD. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Is, yeah, is, is, it, is it spelled V-A? What? Y- yeah, it's V-A-Y. V-A-Y. Huh. Mm. The A is silent, apparently. Okay. Mm. JRPG? Yeah, but, uh, yeah, that one, you know, like I, you know, Scott read my email the last week and all, and uh, that last boss fight that I actually had the old strategy guide, and back then, you know, that one, if you were doing eight or 900 damage, uh, in hit points to an enemy, you were doing really, really well, but the last boss had 23,500 hit points. So you're going to be there a minute. That didn't even sound like fun. Yeah. But, you know, normally you would do two or 300 hit points, but your main character, you would have to use this magic spell that would boost his attack power, and each cast of the magic spell cost 100 magic points, and it would make you do a little over 1,000 hit points in damage. So, it, a long, drawn-out battle. Yeah. Yeah, that was what he said in. It was for Sega CD. So mm-hmm. right. that's a JRPG, right? Yes. Yeah, it was okay. one that was brought over by Working Designs in the mid nineties. I think ninety four or something. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, um, Working Designs. The ones yeah. I liked, the, the um, Lunar, the yeah, they, Silver they, they, Star Story. Yeah, the Star Lunar Story. series. That was one of my favorites of them. Yeah, I never played that, but it was so popular. I think I picked one really up at a, at a convention somewhere. Yeah. I got the uh, box set uh, that came out for the PS one. Mm-hmm. There's like really nice box set of that. Yeah. Oh, speaking of original Lunar, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was the original Lunar, the the one with Nile, the the, the yeah. white flying cat. Yeah. In the original one on Sega CD, if you remember, there was di- different girls you could go up to in each town, and they would start singing the uh, the the, uh, the goddess song. Yeah. Well, in one of them, she was horrible, you know. And 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 this comment they cut out of the remake on the PlayStation, but Nile. Was commenting that it was so bad it was it was making his ears bleed. Hmm. Hmm. And they they changed that in the new one. And they, they cut it out uh, that, that that I can remember it. And then when I played the, the the remake, I don't remember seeing it in there. I don't think it ever came up. But it was the reason. Seems like they cut out some of the comedy and stuff that they had in the original. You ever say a reason why? I have no idea. I've never been able to find out about it, but I don't know. In this day and age, probably, someone probably thought it was mean spirited or something. Ears bleed is just too too. Tough of an image for us to deal with, uh, Chris. Thank you so yeah. much. We got to take a break. All right, that's good. See you. I appreciate you calling back in. I knew we would as soon as I brought yeah. that up. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are going to go to a break here. When we come back, we'll have more of in-game chat and more of your phone calls if you want them. Three three four two seven two nine two two eight is the number. We are getting spammed by nothing but a bunch of Twitch people right now. Yep. So far, what are we at? Eleven people have now started following us on Twitch. That's. Uh, I mean, unless this has been going on, it's been going straight to my spam folder, but. Uh, yeah, we're getting a lot of people uh, following us on Twitch. Let me see if I can 
tell you who is actually in the room with us. The power of garbage pail kids. Yeah, probably. <laughs> SDM Fuller, Nuclear Fire, uh, Lethal Migraine, Introspect, uh, Faye Gwent, and Arioka, and AC Wraith hanging out there with us as well. We're going to come back with more of in-game chat. We've got music here. This is from last week's episode. Matt has requested this song so many times, and I finally played it when he wasn't here, so I thought I would play it now. It's from the old LucasArts game, Outlaws, and we'll be back with more of in-game chat right after this. Welcome back to In-Game Chats. I'm Scott along with RJ and Matt. Taking your calls at 334-272-9228. Music here from Mega Man Legacy Collection. The Mega Man Legacy Collection 2 was released this week, which I couldn't find music from, but I figured I'd yeah, probably share in the same title screen music, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Probably. Uh, so, let's see, we've talked about Sonic, we talked about Agents of Mayhem a little bit and the reviews there for it. What else? I mean, it's been like two weeks, mm -hmm. and there's really, well, let's see, Crackdown got is delayed. Is this the calm before the storm? Uh. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I can never tell. It is a little bit of, well, what do we got? We got Uncharted Lost Legacy comes out this week. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. Um, that'll be something I'll be on. Uh, and then the week after that, of course, I'll be flying out, but we got the Destiny 2 PC beta. Yeah. Windjammers. Uh, Windjammers, Mario and Rabbids uh, thing for the Switch, and then um, Sonic for me on PC <laughs> gets released uh, the Tuesday after next, yeah. or this coming, so there's that. But yeah, uh, Crackdown 3 got delayed. That was supposed to come out, it was supposed to be a launch title for the Xbox One X. That's too many Xs. Um, Project Scorpio is so much better. Mm -hmm. uh, just call it that for the Microsoft for the for the Xbox Scorpio. That works so much better than Project, uh, Xbox yeah, One X. Scorpio by itself, you know, we know what you're talking. I know about. exactly. Uh, did you see what they're doing with the, um, the the initial day one releases of that console? No. Was um, it, what, what, so, what like the 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 Xbox One when it was released, right? They did a day one edition, and the controllers had like day one edition written on it. Okay. That was pretty much the only thing that. Make it made it stand apart from any other console. Yeah. It was just the controller. Didn't matter what console you had there, but if you had a controller, it was a day one edition. That was it. You know, that was the only difference. So these controllers, the day one editions, will have Project Scorpio written across the controllers. Mm -hmm. And there's actually a different texture to the Xbox um, case, the, con the console, the itself? console itself. Okay. Yeah. A little bit of a little bit of a texture thing there mm -hmm. on the Xbox console itself for the day one edition type things okay. that are going to be coming out. So, which five hundred bucks is still too much for me to pay for a console, mm -hmm. or at least a console that I can still play the same games on my current console with. Yeah, the last time I did that was a uh, Saturn. 
when it first came out. I well, I paid that much for my Xbox One when it yeah. came out because when it first came out, it was the same price. But I got to connect mm-hmm. with it and everything else. And then they they backtracked on a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, the Xbox One X is not going to benefit me in any way. I don't have mm-hmm. a 4K TV, so I'm not going to get any benefit there. It's like with me with the Pro. I mean, there's exactly. no real there's no real benefit to me getting a Pro right now. Everything I, works on there, so yeah. Yeah, I completely understand. I totally understand. Um, and if this was doing something, if they were able to have exclusive games on this machine that I could not play on my other machine, it would be different. What's the last? What's the last exclusive on Xbox anyway? What? What's the? Say what's, that, what was the last exclusive on Xbox One? Their line on Xbox yeah. One? Yeah, I mean the. I mean, what exclusives do they have? Do, do they have? Oh, they've got Gears of War. Okay. I mean, obviously, these are things you can also play on PC. I can't say that there's in, there isn't there's hardly anything. It's not totally exclusive, but yeah. console wise, this is the only console, console wise, wise you can play it on. Yeah. Gears of War Four, Quantum Break, um, Forza, Forza is Forza, another okay. one. Uh, there's there's uh, 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 I think what is Cuphead that Cuphead coming out is going to be Cuphead's on, an exclusive Cuphead's for them exclu- console exclusive for them anyway. MS Paint. Um, Sunset Overdrive was another one. Okay, yeah, I remember that. Uh, there's, there's Halo, obviously, anything with Halo on it. Mm-hmm. Um, there's plenty there. There's plenty there that they have exclusives were that were only console and PC, but you know, console. Microsoft console had a exclu- console exclusive. Yeah, Microsoft yeah. had a hold on, and that's fine. Uh, but my point is, is that anything that's releasing for the Xbox One X is also being released for Xbox One. Mm-hmm. Okay. There is no difference there. There's not going to be. Uh, there will be. Uh, I don't want to say that there's never going to be one. They have said that there's not going to be one, but I don't believe them. There's not going to be an exclusive title just to the Xbox One X. Mm-hmm. I honestly think they... I think eventually there will be. I think there will be, too. They said that they would never get rid of the Connect, and within, like, two months of the thing being out on the Xbox One, they took it out and, uh, and, and offered another SKU for people to buy mm-hmm. that was Connectless. And then eventually, they killed it. They killed yeah. the Connect. So, Oh, Killer Instinct. Yeah, State of Decay, yeah. or in the Blind Forest. I mean, well, there's a, there's a ton there yeah. that are that are just exclusive. So, um, and yeah, Lethal Migraine says Sony said that there'll be no exclusives for the Pro either, I and I them. don't believe them. Nope. <laughs> I believe there will come a time when they decide to yeah, we need to make this an exclusive, and it'll drive console sales, it'll drive game sales, um, mm-hmm. and so I think eventually they will do that. They're saying this. I don't know why they're saying this now, but. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know, because I think it deters people from... Well, then why do I have to upgrade? Right. There's a couple of things. You look at the PS4 Pro and the PS4, there's a $100 difference. You look at the Xbox One and the Xbox One X, and there's even a greater difference. Um, it's even larger than 100 bucks of a difference in price. Yeah. But when it comes down to it, you can still play the same games on both systems. So what is your reason to go out and spend that money on a new system? Other than if you upgrade your TV and you want to spend the money to do that, there's, there, is, there is that reason. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, uh, and I don't have that TV yet. I don't have the TV that'll, that'll take advantage of what these consoles do. Mm-hmm. Do you see um, yourself getting one anytime soon or, or a couple of years down the line? Mm-hmm. Eventually. I've been, man, I've been paying attention to them. I yep. mean, you know, it may, it'll probably come up when Black Friday rolls around again this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'll and I'll I think, I'll dip my toe back into it. I think it. then is when you'll feel more of the pull. I was dipping my toe into it this year and I almost pulled the trigger, but then I said, you know what? The TV I have is only a year old. Oh yeah, or two years old. No. There's no reason for me to get a 4K TV. And I and I, I've I've looked at myself doing this stuff, and I, I realized that once I do it, uh, if I had waited a year, I could have had it for cheaper. And I you know what that happens all the time. The TV <clears> I have is a decade old. Yeah. But and still, still works. works fine. But yeah. still works fine. Oh yeah. Yeah, mine's not. A, mine's a. I got an old white Westinghouse, it's before, but it still works. Uh, this is before they even started doing the still smart TVs. Well. Mm-hmm. So like yeah. you know, now you to, everything is a smart TV where you can get like yeah. the Netflix and the internet through. No, this yeah. is even before all that. Yeah, before same here. There's no internet thing with mine. No. Besides the Netflix and all that stuff is on my PS4. So yeah. No real yeah, necessity. No real need to it right now. I'm looking to go all out when I do it, obviously, because that's that's how I that's how. Are you gonna get uh, 3D? 3D is hard to get now. Okay, they sort of stopped. They're, stop they're doing really that. phasing that out, which I don't understand why. Because are they uh, still releasing movies in 3D? 
Yeah, here Ish. and there, yes. Yeah, here and there, they're still releasing movies in 3D. It, again, is something that has kind of faded out. I thought it was mostly for theaters, though, not the they're home. St- they're still releasing movies in yeah. 3D. That's no okay. problem. Right. Um, the thing is, is that, they, you know, Cameron's already announced the Avatar sequels. Don't you know, care. I know. It's yeah. that, it's not about you. It is. <laughs> it, that, what, Avatar is still, like, the number one uh, movie ma- moneymaker of all time as far as films? Whatever. The Transformers movies make money. I'm... My point is not the quality of the movie itself. I'm talking about the money that it made and what it did to the home uh, theater concept, which pretty much pushed 3D into the forefront. That movie in 3D drove the 3D er, surge that we that we are still in and sort of dying down from right now. Yeah, but he's going to be doing it again and and again. I think it's going to and I think it's going to ramp back up again. Yeah, it may. It may. Are you going to get it curved? Or is that kind of also dying out? For? If if the curve, if I go to buy a TV and the curved one is cheaper than the one that I want, sure. It might, right. If it's got the same specs as the other one, but it is less in price, then I'll get it. Okay. If it's the same as in price, then no, I will not. I will avoid the curve as much as I can, but I really don't care. Um, the curve... I've, lo- I've I've looked into these things. The curve really does nothing for you. It de- isn't it like for glare or something. Depending like that? on the distance that you're sitting from your TV. Okay. Yeah. Um, at the distance that I would be sitting from my TV, it wouldn't be. It has no effect whatsoever. Uh, which is why, again, I base it on price. If it is cheaper, I'll get it. If it's the same, I'll get the non-curved version. I'm looking at OLED though. Yeah. That's what I'm looking at. That's when I say I'm going all out. I'm talking about OLED. Mm-hmm. So. Those are those are up there. Um, yes. L- LG is the only one making them. Oh, really? Well, LG and I think Sony. Samsung tried to do something called the QLED, uh, which is not not the same. Not the same at all. Hmm. So, hmm. which is a shame because I like uh, Samsung TVs. You know, I've, I've that's what I've got. I've got a Samsung right now. Same here. And again, I have no desire to to change that unless I find an amazingly good deal. And if I do, I'll be on it. Uh, but yeah, Crackdown 3 delayed, and they said it was delayed because... Um, it's not ready. Yeah, we're taking the extra time to focus on the visual polish so gamers can feel completely immersed in... Th- it is such PR speak, mm-hmm. such mm-hmm. spin. We want them to really feel the larger-than-life enemies as they're exploring the expansive open world, combating crime, and collecting orbs. Uh. <sighs> Just go away with that. Don't even... So, I don't know. It's a difficult to remove to move the release date. However, we want to make sure to deliver the right game with the right quality and at the right time. Um, getting the balance right between the three modes is important, which is campaign, co-op, and competitive. And we're going to take the extra development time to ensure that. Gamers can expect Crackdown 3 in spring of 2018. This thing was going to launch with the Xbox One X. And was going to hope to, you know, really sell that thing, but I don't know. I don't think they have to worry about selling it. I don't, I'm really interested. That's such a massive pay, uh, uh, price gap between an Xbox One S and an Xbox One X. Mm -hmm. Massive price difference. Huge, actually. And you've got to have, and really the only thing that's going to benefit is if you have a TV that supports 4K, for the most part. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to be interested to see how that goes. I, I can tell you now, unless there's something amazing that happens, this is not one of those things where I'll come in the day after it goes on sale, and I'll be like, well, guess what I did, and whip out the box and say, yeah, I went and bought it. That's not happening. It was one, it's one thing when it's a Nintendo Switch that's only, I can't remember what I paid, 300 bucks for that thing? Something like that. Yeah. Uh, it's another thing when it's a $500 console for a system that has games that I can play on my current console. And you don't have anything to benefit to get the full value. I know. Lethal yeah. Migraine says, yes, I will do it. But I promise <laughs> you I won't. <laughs> Unless I get it like I got my PS3, which is one of those fell off the back of a truck deals. Mm. Speaking of, I can't wait for uh, a New Colossus to come out. New Colossus. Wolfenstein. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in October. That's that, that's that same day that everything else releases in October. Yeah, it's going to be one a minute. Of, yeah. Destiny 2, Assassin's Creed Origin, South Park, and uh, Wolf. And Stranger Things, Season 2. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's a busy day. Well, luckily, uh, 
New Colossus I've already ordered. Mm. So I did that too because it was yeah you know, we it was found good. That, we found that on a site that was cheaper. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. That's uh, that's how it worked. So uh, the PlayStation Experience is coming up in December. Um, that's I think we'll see more of Last of Us Two for that. Okay, since they showed nothing at E three for it, I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, yeah, December 9th is when that's going to happen. I keep forgetting that the twenty second is the new Uncharted. Yeah, that's yeah, what we said. We were talking about this, it earlier this yeah. week. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We were talking about that. I know. I like. I see. I, that's how much I keep on forgetting that it's coming. I was trying to get the whole thing. I got the. Uh, I know. I got the Uncharted collection. Then yes. I put up, then I bought four when it when the price dropped. Yeah. And I got said, well, may as well, well may as well finish it off. Finish off the whole thing. Get the uh-huh. uh, Lost yeah. Odyssey at, at the end of it. If you're really gonna do the whole thing, you'd uh, get a Vita and get the uh, Golden Odyssey. I no. mean, Golden Abyss. No. It actually, wasn't that bad. I enjoyed I'll go it. Ahead, but, uh, I don't want to beat him. So are you all caught up with Uncharted stuff now? You've done one, two, three, and four? One. You've done one? One. Not two, three, or four? Yeah. Okay. But it's still there available when I, whenever, I need, whenever I want to get to it. No, it totally is. Yeah. Just wondering when you're going to get to it. Mm. A while. It's going to be a minute. Oh, I played The Witness again, too. Okay. Hmm. I meant to tell you that. Did you get, weren't you stuck on a, at a part uh, when you last played it? Yeah, I was stuck on a part, and I went to a guide and figured out how that level worked mm-hmm. and so I started applying that to all the puzzles there right and then that led me to think of how to look at other parts of the of the of the map of the level mm-hmm. and then it sort of clicked yeah then it was like okay now I see your theme you know sometimes your theme is based on uh, uh, other environments around you like one I had to get the I had to look through a tree to line up the branches to form the path and remember that path and then walk over and draw that path. Okay. Yeah. And so then I knew, okay, this is for overlaying things. So then I would apply that to the next puzzle. and say, now I have to overlay this. And then uh, now I have to overlay this. And then then I would figure out how that works. And that's how that whole thing, that's how that whole section worked is overlays. There was one where it was shadows. And I had to place myself in a certain position so I could see what the shadows outlined the path. Figured that out. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it took a while for me to do that. There was one, the one that I couldn't figure out required you to use the sun's reflection to highlight. It's kind of like when you look on somebody's phone and you can see where yeah, their fingerprints f- are. Yeah. Yeah. So I used the sun's reflection to figure out what the path was. All and right. that's how I had to solve the entire section was to get light somehow to shine on there or in a in, in an underground sequence i looked at the uh, reflection in the water and had to reverse it in my path so that i could solve the puzzle so interesting it just took a little bit to say okay this is how they want it done you know and that's how uh so i've been i've been burning through that real fast cool and but still haven't finished it All just right. yet so mm-hmm. Uh, enjoyed it though. Um, Miltow says, I don't know anyone who has a 4K TV yet. Some have PC monitors at 4K, but no TVs yet. I don't even have a PC monitor at 4K. No. Mine's still at 1440. I've had my monitor for, what, 10 years now? I love my 1440 monitor. It's the mm. TV that yeah. I have. I love <laughs> it. Was it 20 something inches? What? No, I, I, it's a Samsung 46 inch. I use my, my television as my computer monitor. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, sort of. Um, yeah. Anyway, we got to put on a break. No, not yet. Good. <laughs> I have to figure out. Uh, we talked about uh, Shadow of War having some kind of online component because they were going to have loot crates mm-hmm. or loot chests that yeah. you could buy with real money. Yeah. Um, like you earn money in game that can buy loot chests, or you can spend money, real world money, to buy in game money to buy the loot chests. And that sort of thing. They're going to have a ranked online mode. Which is basically just once you take over a... uh, Like one of the castles or one of those, whatever they are. uh, One of the strongholds. Once you take over a stronghold, you can equip it with certain things that you can buy from their store store with in-game money. Okay. So when you want to buy more, you're like, ooh, this is much better defense than what I've got, but it costs this much silver... I should spend whatever to get the silver. Um, 
they're really going to monetize the hell out of this thing. Of so they are. Yeah. you build up your defenses for that stronghold, and then you can put it online, and then people can try and take it over. Take it over. Okay. Just as much as you could try and take someone. You can go in and try and take somebody else's uh, defenses over. By the way, and and the way that works is you've got a set amount of time to do it, and you can bring in people from your not nemesis system but you know the the people you've gotten converted to fo- converted to follow you yeah uh, you can bring them in however if they die in there they die in your world too interesting yes so if you take one that of adds your a little bit of risk to yes it. it does if you take one of your main captains or whatever then and you go in he there doesn't make it. and he doesn't make it he's not going to come back to your to your map huh so just as much if somebody takes over your stronghold then I don't know what the penalty is to you. They get a lot of stuff, but I don't know what the penalty is for you. So, if you lose it. Um, two different ways to take on a fortress. <laughs> Happily, the rewards for successfully attacking a base are plentiful. Capturing a fortress will reward the player with a conquest loot chest and some spoils of war, points that are accumulated in order to earn spoils of war chests. These chests contain followers and other goodies. It still doesn't tell. It doesn't tell me what uh, what you do if you lose against that. I guess you just lose all the stuff in there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that works. They also have an end game now for Shadow of War. Oh, once you've taken everything over, um, Sauron, mm-hmm. yeah, will try to attack the other strongholds that you now control, and so you'll have to warp to that area. <laughs> And start fending, you know, defending your, your position. And if you do this enough times, I don't know how many times you have to do it, then you get the true ending of the game. Okay. Yeah. If you don't do it, you lose that stronghold and you lose that whole section of the map that that stronghold represented. Can you regain it or is it not? Well, the guy who is in control of your stronghold gets captured and so he goes to some other point where you need to go and free him. Or you can skip that part if you don't want to do it, and he'll die. Um, and then you have to recapture it. And once you recapture it, you have to start the whole thing over again to defend your positions. Interesting. Uh, in order to get the true ending of the game, whatever that is. So, I don't know. They've they've kind of fleshed it out, but they've kind of, they're starting to do things that I'm not really... I don't like the aspect of... Like, I thought it was just for loot chests, and that was fine. But it seemed to be more. Yeah. Now, I, I'm okay with it because I'm never, I probably never go online to actually put my, put my stronghold out there. See, I might try and do it myself, but if if that's an option where you could just not do that at all, that'd be great because I, f- I forget which game there was like maybe like Metal Gear Five. Uh, oh yeah, with Mother Base. Yeah, Mother Base. When they, you know, even if you didn't want to, I think people could still like attack your Mother Base. You know. You had to go. You had to completely be offline to yes, not to not to not have people invade your game. And because like I mm. didn't want you know I'm not going to go out attack other people's bases. I don't want them attacking mine. I just want to go and run around you know in this open world, just have fun as my you know sn- you know snake and. But yeah, yeah, if if in Shadow War where if it's mandi- you know like mandatorily in a way where you have no control over you know like just sort of walling off saying like no I don't want anyone to come you know attack my stuff. I don't know. From everything that I've read, you initiate it. Okay. You put your stronghold into the social realm. Okay. Which is not, you don't have to do that. Good. Um, And then you decide if you want to. And there's a ranking system in there, too. So if you, all you ever want to do is attack, then uh, you attack those, and as you take them over, you rank up, and then you will get strongholds that are your level or higher. Mm-hmm. to try and attack those. So there's a level system to that, to the online All aspect right. of it. I don't know. They're just putting more stuff in there that they didn't have before. And I think, and that's one of the things that I, that I complained about was that it was, there was not much. No. Um, once you stopped... Trying to collect everything. Just going around doing things, there yeah. really wasn't much in that game. Like I mean, They did put side quests, but they were not... You basically Important. had to well, you basically had to beat the game first in order to really yeah, enjoy really, doing any yeah. side quests. And once I beat a game, I have no determination to do much of the side quest after yeah. that. Uh, but then I have I just no real push. How much did you yeah. pay for it? 
Shadow of Mordor. Mordor? Probably a lot. Really? I think I got that when it first released. Ah, uh, see, I got it like for four bucks. No, for I get everything. that. Yeah, so totally. for that, I'm like, you know what? I've more than gotten my four dollars worth. That's the other thing with this game. You know, I've already seen. Is once. this going to be where, like, you know, you wait a year and it's going to be down to like four bucks as well? I'm sure it is. They've done it before. Yeah. You know, so I've seen this happen before, and so I'll either bite at a really low price when we find, you know, one of those CD key places mm. <laughs> that do that. Yeah. Um, or uh, I'll wait for it to go on sale, probably. Yeah. That's my thing with it. We're going to take our next break here, and when we come back, we'll have more of in-game chat. You can call us at 334-272-9228. Here is another track that we did not get to last week. It was one of, uh, it was one of my tracks that we didn't make it through, and it was uh, based on Miss 3 Exile. Mm. And this was the first time that they broke away... Uh, Rand Miller and Robin Miller, who were the two creators of Mist, they did uh, the first Mist, and then they did Riven. And the whole thing was is that um, Robin Miller would would do the compositions for the music for both Mist and for Riven. Well, Ubisoft took over at this point and started to publish this. Uh, Rand was still involved, and Robin was still involved, but not in the same capacity as they had been in the previous two games. And uh, a composer by the name of Jack Wall took over and did the music for Mist 3 Exile. And this is the uh, like main theme for that. We'll be right back with more of in-game chat right after this. Welcome back to In Game Chat. I'm Scott along with RJ and Matt. All back together again. Music here from 
Batman, the Telltale series. Season 2, episode 1, I think, hit the uh, hit stores this week, past week, I think. So I went and grabbed the music. I've decided for the Telltale games to wait for the whole season to come out. Oh, that's the best way to do it. That is the best way to do it. Mm Mm-hmm. The episodes are too quick and too far between releases to, for me, mm-hmm. to enjoy their uh, continuity, the okay. way that they go from one chapter to the next. Uh, that was I, a mistake I made with uh, The Wolf Among Us. I made it with The Wolf Among Us and yeah. uh, Walking Dead Season 2. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Wolf Among Us, when between uh, episodes, you know, like, good thing there was a recap because I literally forgot a lot of the stuff I'd the choices I've made. Yeah. The Even then, chapter. I think it's still much better to play it on like a day by day basis. Mm-hmm. Play chapter one today, chapter two tomorrow, chapter you know, right. and just keep going like that. And I think it works. I think it works so much better to play them like that. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah, that's what I think anyway. What else? Uh, Abduction, which we were talking about, missed, but Abduction is coming out to PS4. Okay. S- mm-hmm. Sometime this month. The other thing was, what else? Something else was coming up. Um, oh, yeah. Danger Zone is coming to Xbox One. I was going to say, I thought I already had that. Yeah. But so it's coming, it's coming out to the consoles. Well, it was, it was already released on PS4 and PC. Oh, okay. And there were a lot of people on Xbox who were kind of upset that they weren't getting one. But no, they been, just had to wait. They were working on it, and now they're going to release that. It's going to have more levels. Oh, okay. Which I'm hoping they're going to they'll transfer it over they're gonna to the other They're going to put that team? into the PC. Yeah, they're going to put that mm-hmm. in the PC and the PS4 version. I hope so. Um, I'd really, really like for that to happen. Um, what else? Pinball Effect. Uh, Pinball FX Three was announced, which was already announced, but I think we got more details about how it would work. And it's going to have cl- cross-platform competition. But a little asterisk next to that. Like, PC and PS4 players will have cross-platform play. Mm -hmm. Xbox and PC players will have cross-platform play. Okay. PlayStation and Xbox will not have cross-platform play. Mm. Okay. They will still not communicate. Mm -hmm. It's Which is a horrible thing. Just get over this already, would you? Seriously. Get over it. Uh, Zen Studios talked cross-platform multiplayer. They're talking asynchronous multiplayer. Players post their scores on tables for others to challenge via the matchup feature. If they beat the score, they gain league points and work their way up the ladder. Players can also create and participate in time tournaments, aiming to get the best score possible on a given table before the time is up. Um, PlayStation 4 players will be able to p- compete against Steam players, while Xbox One players can compete against players on Steam and Windows 10. Um, PS4 talks to Steam and Xbox One talks to Steam and Windows. Steam talks to PS4 and Xbox One, but PlayStation 4 will not talk to Xbox One and Windows 10. So, Yikes. Yes. Pinball Effects 3 is a free-to-play platform that comes with a single table, Sorcerer's Lair, like Pinball Effects 2, with additional tables available as paid downloadable content. Um, however... If you own previous tables on Pinball FX2, you can import them into okay. Pinball FX3. And there is a whole bunch that you can import. The tables that are not making the leap, however, is the South Park Table 2-pack, hmm. which is sad because I love those. Plants vs. Zombies, which is another good one. Misplosion Man. Aww. Street Fighter. And Ninja Gaiden. I didn't even know Ninja Gaiden was there. Hmm. I didn't even know there was a table with Ninja Gaiden. It must be one of the platform exclusives. Because I don't have it on the PC. Hmm. Interesting. Does it say which Ninja Gaiden we talking about here? The uh, it does, classic or... It does. Okay. My guess would be the new. Okay. It doesn't say. Uh, they announced new tables this month, and this happened uh, the week we were doing the music show, so we didn't actually get a chance to talk about them. But new tables are in the works uh, they announced a trio of Universal Studios tables. E.T. will be the first one. Hmm. Okay. They've also got one for Jaws. Nice. And they've also got one for Back to the Future. Right. Yeah. Which is going to get my 
Uh, so they're going to send it to me free. That's fine. But which they normally do send me a code to play these things. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I am really looking forward to those. E.T. Great movie. Love Jaws, and of course, Back yeah. to the Future. Everybody knows how I feel on that. No need to talk any more about that. Uh, Warframe uh, devs to reveal the new game. Okay. Did you happen to catch any of that? No. I know you played. You played Warframe, right? I played War- Warframe. Yeah. Not as much as uh, my friends have. I'm so far behind. It's not even funny. I mean, I think I've completed maybe one planet. Well, they're doing another free-to-play game called The Amazing Eternals. Hmm. Abilities, weapons, and other traits will be based on each character's deck. Oh, it's distinct characters and focus on cards and deck building. I was going to say, is it a card game? Pass. Yeah, I don't know (laughs) if it's going to be a card. I'm not sure how it's going to be a card game. It has a 1970s retro futuristic pulp aesthetic. Um, It's been in a closed alpha test for uh, the summer. A 70s retro futuristic pulp. Yeah. (laughs) All right. So (laughs) it's uh, only announced for PC so far and does not have a release date. But that's what they've been working on. So, Uh, What else happened this past two weeks? Shinmu 3. Ah. They are making it, yes. Yeah. I have backed it. Well, no, they're making it, but they're getting published now. Mm-hmm. They got a publisher. Uh, Deep Silver? Deep Silver. Yeah. That yeah. is correct. Deep Silver is going to publish the uh, Shinmu 3 game, which I don't know. We still don't have a release date for that, but we are going to yeah. get a... But getting a publisher means we're getting closer yeah. to getting a release date for that. Speaking I'm of... i remember uh, what I did in Shinmu 1 and 2. I mean, I played uh, them both. Your dad died, and you collected stuff, and drove a forklift. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember the Xbox, the Xbox, by the way, not the Xbox the 360. The original Xbox had the Shinmu movie. Right. When I got Shinmu 2, yep. it came with the movie, which, which was, was basically the, Shinmu 1. The cutscenes. With all the cutscenes yeah. strung together so you could get caught up. Yeah, but I'm talking from Dreamcast on my end. I know. But I'm so. just saying, they're going to have to do, they're going to have to essentially do something like this to catch everybody up with yeah. Shinmu. The flashback. That would be cool. Or like previously on Shinmue. That, or you're just going to have to go to YouTube and watch somebody's, yeah. you know, compilation of like. Here's everything you need to know before playing Shinmu 3. Mm-hmm. You know? Never did play 2. I have it. I never played it, though. I have Two's it on Dreamcast. 2 is pretty good. I, I mean, because I, I, I got the uh, import version. Mm-hmm. The uh, PAL version? Yeah. Yeah. That was a good one. Uh, speaking of games that I've backed, um, Battlefront, I mean, uh, not Battlefront, uh, Battletech is being pushed back till next year. Oh, is it? Yeah. What what time next year? Do they give a time I think frame? First quarter. Mm. But still. What are you playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate on? PC. PC? Okay. I was just curious. I got a one of those deal things came in through, but it was for the Xbox. It was for the Xbox. Season pass. Okay. It was like mm-hmm. nine bucks. But that was on Xbox store. What comes in the season pass for that? Hmm. Is it the Jack the Ripper missions? Oh yeah. Yeah. I think it is. That's one of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So earlier, I think it was this week or was it last? Again, I'm getting my weeks mixed up here, but uh, everybody found out that that Destiny Silver was on Steam. Yes. Which, for those who don't know, Destiny is a game that's only on consoles. It's on Xbox and it's on PlayStation 4. Steam is something strictly related to PC. So seeing something that was only available on consoles have an item that you could buy on Steam raised some eyebrows and was like, what is this doing here? You could not find it in the store itself. You had to go to a website that does a lot of cataloging of things that are in the Steam database. And they would give you links to from there where you could automatically add it to your cart, which is what I did. And so I spent five bucks. Like, yeah, I was going to say, wasn't it like five bucks? Yeah, I spent five bucks and bought Destiny 1 Silver. Um, or at least just Destiny Silver, whatever. Uh, I bought that last week and it's like, Gave me an email confirmation. Said, "Hey, you you bought your thing." Um, it was, but the instead of putting Destiny One, it said unspecified game uh, in the place where you're supposed to set the title. And it wasn't maybe a day later that I got that I got a refund issued to me mm-hmm. um, from yeah. Valve saying, "Oh, here's their refund for this. It wasn't supposed to be there." Oh, it's really weird. Um, the community manager for Bungie sent out a Twitter thing that said um, 
Destiny transactions on Steam were made available in error. All purchases will be refunded manually by Valve. Sorry for the confusion. Mm. Too bad. Mm hmm. The uh, PC Gamer article here says. Microtransactions aren't birds who occasionally fly into open windows, and especially not on platforms <laughs> where the game they belong to doesn't actually exist. Which isn't to say that the community manager's statement is inaccurate. I'm sure it's not. But what exactly is the error that, that was made? Mm -hmm. um, while Destiny Silver is no longer purchasable on Steam, it is still listed in the Steam database. Interesting. Hmm. It is interesting. Now, I know it's coming to PC, but even then, it's coming to the uh, Blizzard side of things, which is yeah. different from, from Steam. Steam. Yeah. This is very hard to explain if you aren't familiar with the way these things work. But uh, Blizzard is a storefront. Steam is a storefront. They do not share, they do not share their, their wares. Um, no. So they don't play well together. And so having something for a game that is going to be on one storefront available on a different storefront makes me wonder why that is. Why is it even there in the first place? How did it get in there? Somebody had to write code for this. Somehow it had to get in there. Why? Mm -hmm. How long has it been in there? Was there ever any plan to release this on PC? Is Activision going to do something when, when Destiny 2 releases and put Destiny 1 on PC? But if they are, why aren't they going with Blizzard? Why is it on Steam? I don't know. These are just... So many questions. Yes. It's just speculation, and it's probably going to go nowhere. I just want to want to put that out there first, is that there's probably nothing to this. Uh, there probably never was going to be anything to this. So I'm not getting any kind of hopes up. I don't care, you know? I'm I'm getting Destiny on PC one way or the other. I'm getting it on on either on Steam or I'm getting it on Blizzard. And right now I'm getting it through Blizzard, so that seems to be the case. So what do we got coming up next week? Uh, Uncharted, right? Yep. Yeah. Is anybody going to be playing that day releases? Nope. Really? Probably I mean, not. I'll be there. No. Really? It's Uncharted. It's. Yeah, it is, but it isn't. You know, it's like how, it, yeah, it's like the Golden Abyss, right? Yeah, it's Uncharted, but it's not like a numbered Uncharted. It's not a main... Side story. You know, yeah, it's a side story. All right. But it's still sure. the same people involved. It's two, it's two, it's, it, are they, aren't those two, uh, two the more... Who are they, aren't they the more popular characters? I think mean, uh, Claudia... Yeah. What's her name? Well, Claudia Black is the voice actor. It's Chloe. Uh, Cl uh, Chloe, Chloe okay. and... Yeah. Um, Nadine. The Nadine mm -hmm. from the four. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I'm, I'm still interested in it, and it... it it's going to scratch the itch of environmental puzzles and everything. It's going to it's going to scratch the naughty dog itch. I'll probably go the same. I'll probably go the wrong idea with uh, with um, four. Mm -hmm. um, probably won't get it at launch, but eventually it's going to be something I'll pick up to finish what I started with a PS4 uh, collection of uh, Uncharted titles. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not expecting anything new here. I'm not. I'm not expecting to come in on Saturday and talk about the game and be like, "Wow, this is so." Fa I mean, it would be great if I did. But this is so fantastic. I'm, I expect to come in and say, you've played Uncharted before. Mm -hmm. You're going to play it again. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. I like what I do with <laughs> Destiny. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. It's the same thing, just with a different coat of paint. You're going to do it again. Yeah. yeah. Which I don't mind doing. Yeah. Not, look, we're playing it for the story. more. Well, personally, I'm playing it, I would be playing it for the story more than anything else, really. Well, I always so, do yeah. try to do that. But I also love puzzles. I love finding new puzzles. Mm -hmm. I, I sat down here and I played some more of... Uh, uh, the House of Da Vinci on my iPad right. mm -hmm. uh, just because there was more puzzles to play and I just was trying to pass the time so mm -hmm. uh, it gives me puzzles the shooting I don't know it, the reviews for it were, were really good it got fantastic reviews across the board um, Naughty Dog is no slouch when it comes to making games no yeah. they aren't they haven't been they've shown that they know what they're doing exactly oh. and it's something else in the Uncharted franchise which is fine I don't mind that Nolan North probably isn't going to be in it whatsoever yeah, um, I don't. I don't mind that at all. So, I've read Uncharted books. I played Uncharted games that weren't Naughty Dog, uh, like the Vita version, and that was fun. Mm -hmm. mm. I played an online, not an online, a uh, mobile Uncharted game uh, that was on your phone. Really? Yeah, it was mm. back when Uncharted Three came out, or Four. I'm sorry, back when Uncharted okay. Four came out, mm. they had a mobile game that you could play for Uncharted. Was it like a run? No, no. It was. It was. Um, it was like you had a point A and a point B to get to, 
and you had so many steps you had to take to get from yeah. there and you had to yeah so did it do anything for you in game <sighs> i think there was something but it was so because yeah, I've, I've noticed that a lot with the, especially with um like um uh, Nether Realm Studio games, Mortal yeah. Kombat, and uh, Injustice Two. There was always some type of app that it goes was with it. minuscule. Yeah. Whatever it was, it was minuscule. Yeah, and and had nothing. Ghost going Recon for. did you know? Yeah, a lot of games did. Uh, Battlefront yeah. also. Yeah, Ubisoft likes to do it. I think they've stopped. They did it for Assassin's Creed a lot. Yeah, and Splinter Cell, but I think they've stopped doing that now. I forgot. To, I forgot to mention this. Um, you you had a, a fun time with City Skylines, right? Yeah, loved yeah. It. And it's I on remember sale it, came, for it like came out on super um, cheap. Came out on PS4 on the 15th. Oh, nice. Uh, along with Agents of Mayhem and uh, Needhog 2. That'll and give you a chance to play that game, man. That's yeah, a fun would. game. Yeah. I loved City Skylines. Night loved Trap. <laughs> Night Trap. Night Trap came out. Came out. Yes. Night Trap also came out. 25th anniversary came out on Windows and PS4 as well on the 15th. I don't have oh, yeah. it, but yeah, it came out. The fact that it's available is just... Yeah. What was that old Sega to, CD game, right? Old Sega CD game, yeah. With uh, Dana Plato. Yes, that yeah. got a lot of people up in arms, didn't it? Because it was it like, did. oh, hey, there's some. There was was it nudity? No, they were in nightgowns. Yeah, really, there wasn't even nudity, and that's no, what it was they're doing. In nightgowns. Man, think how far we've come. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, remember Baby Got Back and how scandalous that was? No, no, no. Mm-hmm. I'm just talking to the video game world. Yeah, you know, just yeah. I mean, you know. Because I remember Mortal Kombat got a huge thing with, um, yeah. What oh, the world was coming to an end when Mortal Kombat came out. What was out? that senator's name? Lieberman. 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 Joe Lieberman. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the one. Yeah. I wanted to wanted to take away our video games. I <laughs> still does. Yeah. I have no idea. I haven't heard from. I haven't no heard one the name has. Lieberman in forever. Mm-hmm. So I have no idea. We gotta go. That is gonna do it. All thanks, right. everybody, for joining us in the chat room, and thanks, everybody, for listening on the stream and on the radio. Thanks to everybody who grabs us each week from iTunes or however you get our show for later use. We really appreciate it. Go to ingamechat.net. Join us on Twitter, Facebook, our forums at colonyofgamers.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You're watching us on Twitch. Why not subscribe to uh, our, our Twitch channel derp, derp. thing? herp a derp um, Professional. Yeah, if you're on Steam, join our stream group. If you're on PS4, we've got a group there. If you're on Xbox, we've got a group there. You can join up and we'll play games with us and other listeners. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We do appreciate this, and we only do it because you guys are here watching it. So thank you. Uh, or we're listening to it as well. So uh, have a great week, and we'll see you next Saturday. I'll leave you with music from a new game that came out, I think, on Xbox. It may have been PC as well. It's called Observer. Uh, these are the end titles. We'll be back next week. Have a great one. <laughs>